Hello everyone, Captain Billy J here, and I'm about to knock off my leg. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to Billy J Travels, Captain Billy J Travels. I am your captain, Captain Billy J. Welcome to Saturday night. Hope you guys are having a great Saturday, Saturday night. My weekend's been going pretty good. I went to uh, the airport to film some planes and the airport itself, and hopefully I'll come out with a video maybe for the raid parade this Friday. Um, but, uh, or I'm actually going over to, um, Foley, Alabama tomorrow for a concert and, uh, maybe hopefully can record some video over there and, uh, yeah, so we'll see what comes up with the raid parade, but, uh, welcome aboard everyone. Hope everyone is having a good night. I'm kicking off the live shows on Saturday. Uh, first it's me. And then, uh, right after me is the traveling Gilberts and the traveling Gilberts are back. Uh, they're going to talk about the Harmony of the Seas cruise they were on. And they're coming up on the Carnival Horizon cruise coming up. They're not going on the BBD Rum Run, but they're going on the Recovery Cruise the week after the BBD Rum Run. So uh, it's going to have the Gilberts back and live. Um, the captain sent over a video to them, and hopefully they will use it. Uh, it, was, it was fun making it. Uh, but anyways, check out Tom and Gilberts tonight. And then after Tom and Gilberts, you have a couple options. You have Adventures Ahead. It was Josh and Michelle, uh, mostly Michelle, a little bit less of Josh. And then, uh, or you have uh, Griswold Family Vacay is going live uh, tomorrow night. All right, tomorrow night. Tonight as well. Um, and uh, I'm not sure what's going on over there. Um, and then um, after the Griswold Family Vacay, check out the World Wrestling Vlog uh, with Moi himself. Referee Billy J will be over there. And we're talking about factions tonight. So pro wrestling factions. We're talking about NWO. We're talking about Evolution. We're talking about the Four Horsemen and uh, all kinds of different uh, wrestling factions. So it should be a good night because uh, there are a lot of wrestling factions out there. But anyways, uh, thank you guys for showing up tonight. Um, tonight's episode, we're going to talk about what do you pack for a cruise? And I thought of this topic because I have to pack for a cruise coming up. I have a cruise, and I believe in 22 days, 20, 23, 22 days for the BBD Rum Run Group Cruise out of Miami, Florida. Um, and uh, I'm driving this time. Uh, well, I, I drive most of the time, but I'm driving. Uh, but some people will be flying. So you pack differently when you're flying and when you're driving. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk about luggage tags. And we'll talk about it's mostly carnival tonight. Uh, so we'll talk about carnival luggage tags. So somewhere in the Royal Caribbean and, and the other cruise lines. Um, we'll also talk about packing lists. And we'll also talk about uh, packing tips and hacks that you may have and uh, what I have come up with. So we'll talk about all of that tonight. Uh, first, let's take a look and see who's in the chat tonight real quick. Uh, so very first person in the chat is my first mate, Meg. Welcome on board. First mate, Meg. She's making pasta for dinner. I asked her if she's making taco pasta. Uh, she said, no, not this time. So, uh, no taco pasta. Anthony Simone is near. Welcome aboard. He's my first moderator. Good to have you in here, Anthony. I'm not sure if he's going live tonight. He might. Sometimes he goes live. We'll have to take a look in the chat see if he says he is or not. Following up, Anthony, is Jane and Travel. John and Nancy. Welcome aboard, John and Nancy. And speaking of John and Nancy, the other day, or about a week ago, a few days ago, anyways, uh, they are giving out postcards. Uh, you have one of two choices for postcards. And um, uh, there's one of Smiley the Frog. But I asked for a caricature picture of them. So they sent me a postcard. So Jane and Travel, stay young, have fun. So they wrote a nice little thing on the back. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty awesome. So thank you, John and Nancy, uh, for the postcard. And it is on my fridge, or will be on my fridge, has been on my fridge. Uh, with a Jane and Travels magnet. Uh, there's Smiley there. Uh, but yeah, so that's been holding up the postcard on my fridge. So thank you, John Nancy, for that postcard. Pretty awesome. So if you want a Jane and Travels uh, postcard, um, you have to email them and you can go check out their live. I think they're going live tomorrow on Sundays. So check out Sundays. They usually play a game on there. And um, I'm sure they'll talk about the email address that you need to send to, to get a postcard from them. So pretty awesome. Uh, let's take a look in the chat. Deborah D is in here. Welcome aboard, Deborah. Good to have you here. 
Uh, following Debra is Holly, Miss Holly, beautiful Holly. Welcome aboard, beautiful Holly. Good to have you here as well. Uh, Travin Gilbert, so here, welcome aboard, Travin Gilbert. We we're talking about you. That you're back, back to your live show starting tonight, right after this live show. Jonathan Shorts here from the Six Traveling Shorts. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. Good to have you here. He's also uh, he's on the BBD Run Run Group Cruise with me. Tony G, 1975 here. Welcome aboard, Tony G. Permission to come aboard. Permission mm, granted. Granted, I think. I'll let you. I'll let you slip by this time. Showtime, Anthony says. Showtime it is. Uh, everybody's saying hello to each other. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, Rochelle is here. Rochelle Hamby. Welcome aboard, Rochelle. Good to have you here. Do, 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 do. Yes. Oh, yeah. 21 days. Miss Holly Ayers, beautiful Holly Ayers, is on the DVD rum run as well. Uh, yeah, 21 days. That's going to be great. Uh, I packed my wine. Okay, that's good. Pack your wine. Yes. And we'll talk about that too as well. Thank you, Meg. Grabbing the link for World of Wrestling Vlog. Uh, oh my God, that's a far drive. Yes, it is a 10 hour drive for me, but I am not driving the full 10 hours. I am stopping. So I'm leaving the Friday before, because the cruise is on a Sunday. So I'm leaving Friday out of Pensacola, Florida, driving down to the Orlando area, staying overnight at a cheap motel or a frugal motel. Um, and then um, the next morning, Saturday morning, I'll be driving uh, from there down to Miami. And then um, uh, get there in time for all activities Saturday night or Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. And then next day, Sunday is cruise day. So I'm excited for that. And then on the way back from the cruise, we come back on, on a Saturday. I will drive up to Orlando area again. I will stay there. Uh, I may go to Disney Springs or I may go to maybe one of the parks. I'm not sure. Probably just end up going to Disney Springs. Um, or Old Town, and then uh, the next day I'll be driving the rest of the way back up to Pensacola. So I'm breaking up. So it's seven hours one day, three or four hours the next day. So not so bad, uh, but it's a lot cheaper to drive than it is to fly. You would think it'd be cheap to fly from one end of Florida to the other, but it's not. It is expensive. So Janice is in here. Welcome aboard, Janice. Good to have you here as well. She's going on the BBD Rum Run Group Cruise as well. Awesome. 21 days, 22 days, whatever it is that Holly said. 21 days, she said. Uh, no live tonight, Anthony. Okay. So Anthony's not going live. So again, you have Traveling Gilberts, you have Adventures Ahead, you have Chris Fall Family Vacay, and you have the World of Wrestling Vlog tonight. Uh, Telica's in here. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Telica. Good to have you here. Uh, and uh, he's, he's doing the captain a favor uh, for me. And uh, hopefully it, it's a cruise favor. Uh, so hopefully that will work out and uh, I can bring you guys some more content that way. So thank you very much uh, for showing up tonight. And thank you for doing a favor for the captain. Uh, and he says, I'll be back live in two weeks. I'm just taking some time off. That's understandable, Anthony. Boardman's here. Welcome aboard, Kenny. Good to have you here. Everyone's saying hello to each other. Yeah, four bands just had surgery. Uh, Janice was asking how he was doing. He had gallbladder. His gallbladder is removed. I know he was in pain a little bit. Uh, so hopefully he's feeling a little bit better today. Sikita Adventures is here. Welcome aboard Sikita, Greg, and uh, Felicia, if you're there. Mostly Felicia, if she's there. Greg, eh. Anyways, uh, good to have you here. Thank you, uh, Kenny, for showing out the live on Facebook and YouTube community tab. Appreciate it very much. Does that almost every week. Can we dunk you, Billy? Yes, so we have a dunk tank. So this is not your ordinary group cruise. Uh, this is a crazy group cruise. Yes, we have a dunk tank. And I'll talk about that in the live before my uh, before we leave to go to the cruise. But yeah, there's a dunk tank. And uh, there are people participating. I don't know if I'm participating or not. We'll see. I'm sure there's people that want to dunk me for sure. Uh, but anyways, well, that'll be a good time. Blaine's here from Really Creative Travel. Welcome aboard, Blaine. Uh, and Mallory, she's around. Uh, they went live uh, earlier this week. Uh, they haven't been live for a while, so it's good to hear from them. 
Chris Fall of MVVK is in here. Welcome aboard, Danny. Good to have you here. Again, they're going live later tonight. So check out Chris Wall of MVVK. Magnificent Germany with Darian is here. Welcome aboard, Darian. Good to have you here as well. Hope you're having a great Saturday. Uh, check out Darian. He goes live uh, every once in a while, so, or about once a week or so. So check out Darian. Talking about Germany. So if you love Germany, check out Magnificent Germany with Darian. And I love Germany. Uh, Amy for the captain. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Amy's here from Amethyst Phase Adventures. Welcome aboard, Amy. Good to have you here. She just got off Alaska cruise. She's been putting out some Alaska vlogs. So check out Amy's uh, Alaska vlogs over there. Uh, also, Darian's been putting out vlogs as well as Danny from Goodsall Fan VK in the Raid Parade. And I'll talk about the Raid Parade here in a second. Let's get through this. Make sure I say hello to everyone. Uh, say hello to Nightbot. Welcome aboard, Nightbot. Good to have you here. Uh, Najuma Brown's in here. Welcome aboard, Najuma. Good to have you here as well. Followed up by Rose. Hello, Rose. Welcome aboard. Can't if I'm losing my shape. I need to be stuffed. Oh, my, Rose. Uh, Kenny, you Kenny, you need to get on the men. Can't get better. So uh, take care of Rose there. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's see. Everyone's saying hello to each other. Awesome. What a crowd here. Yeah, we got a quick crowd. 21 people. Last last show we had, suppose we had 280 some people, 289 people at the end of my live show, which I don't think is right because I only had like 100 and some views on my YouTube studio. So I don't think that's quite right, but uh, it's only 289 people in here, so. Cool, cool shirt, Billy, thank you, Janice. You can get this shirt in my spread shop. The link is in the um, description of this uh, live show, as well as my other uh, videos I put out. But yeah, this is Captain Mary J Travels and uh, has watched on YouTube. I have like 10 different designs. If you don't like my face, like some people, uh, you can get one without my face, and I have like five or six different designs of that. And if you want the old school logo of the world, you can have that out there as well. So check out my spread shop. Uh, 20 watching, 20 thumbs up. Awesome, people. Good. Smash that thumbs. That's good. Excellent. Uh, I actually put on a new video on my channel today. Oh, awesome, Kenny. Yes, yeah, so it must be feeling better if you're uh, putting out some videos. So that's good. Awesome. Good to hear. Uh, everyone's saying hello to each other. It's Rose. Nick Dowd is in here. Welcome aboard, Nick. Fellow Greek Club brother. Good to have you here. Uh, awesome. All right, I'm at the bottom of the chat. So thank you guys for coming in tonight. So we're going to talk about what do you pack in your cruise or what do you pack for a cruise? Uh, there's all kinds of different things you can pack. Um, and um, what I what I like the best is packing checklists. So when I first started going cruising, I Google searched, because I use Google for just pretty much everything and for trivia. Um, but also, uh, uh, so I, I use packing lists. So we'll go over a couple packing lists that I have found, and then we'll go over them. Feel free to put in the chat um, something that you think that you pack that nobody else packs. Uh, I want some good tips and hacks and stuff like that. We'll talk about those as well. Um, and also, we're going to talk about luggage tags. So let's actually, let's get into luggage tags first. Because you want to get a uh, luggage uh, tag put on your luggage first, and then you can pack. So um, I'll go ahead and bring up uh, some pictures real quick here. Let me pull that up here. Uh, Holly says she has a good checklist. That's good, Holly. Excellent. Yeah, and I've, I've taken a checklist, and then I've refined it down to work what works for me so uh all right so let's go ahead and i will pull up uh my pictures here and hopefully my computer does not crash oops too far okay all right so uh we're talking about carnival tonight so um because i have a carnival cruise coming up so when you log into carnival on the website uh you'll come into this page um and at the top of the page you'll see your next cruise that you have booked for carnival so mine's Carnival Horizon, six days, Western Caribbean. Um, and then, uh, so you're, you're getting, and it's, oh yeah, so Carnival says 22 days, Holly. 22 days according to Carnival is the next cruise. Uh, but then you would scroll down. So if you scroll down on that page, you'll come down to a my to-do list. 
And so you have your online check-in, which we're not able to check in until, well, I'm not able to check in until August 28th. Now, if you're platinum, you can check in a couple of days earlier. Um, but uh, then there's the vaccination survey. And then below that is print documents. So you would go ahead and you would click on print documents. And then uh, that'll pull up another screen uh, where it says print luggage tags. And then you can print off your boarding passes and uh, general information. But you would want to click on print luggage tags so it is checked like that. And then you can go ahead and print. Uh, so you go ahead and you will print that. You don't have to have a color printer, but it's nice to have because they are color coded. Um, but then um, you get a luggage tag just like this. So this is my luggage tag for my next cruise. Um, so it'll tell you, uh, of course, the company that you're cruising on, your name, the name of the ship, the date that the ship is leaving, the deck that you're on, the room number that you're in, and where it is on the ship. So this is forward. And also, it'll tell you what side, so port side. So this is helpful for the baggage handlers. So what you do is you're going to fold this up, and I will show you. And it tells you what to do. So it says, like, first fold, do not cut. So it says, do not cut. So you would go ahead and you would fold it. And I will go ahead and fold it. And actually, I will be putting this on my luggage. So you make one, one fold like that. And then you fold again the second fold. So it looks like this. And then uh, on the other side, there's some instructions. There are some luggage instructions. Uh, and it says, please print your name on each luggage tag, even though it is printed already. And follow along the lines. Uh, that what you do then is you will fold this up like this. And then what you do is you'll put this around your suitcase handle, and then you can staple it or they will staple it there at the port for you, or you can tape it or something. Now, that's one way to do it. You can also get those, and I have them, I just don't know where my luggage tags are at. But there are clear uh, luggage tags that you can buy that you just slip this in and uh, protects it. Uh, that way, in case it rains or something, and this, doesn't, this doesn't get wet. Um, so those are out there, too. You can buy them. They're pretty cheap. You can buy them on Amazon or, or any online place. But, uh, yeah, luggage tags. Um, so you definitely want to put that on your luggage. Now, what I do is I put one on the outside of the tag. And in case it gets ripped off, I print off a second luggage tag. So I will put this one um, in um, my inside the suitcase. So in that case, the first one gets ripped off. They can open up the suitcase and say, oh, this is where the bag goes, stuff like that. So that's a good tip uh, for packing um for luggage um, or for a luggage tag. Uh, let me take a look in the chat. Let's see. Uh, Blaine says magnetic hooks are something good to have as well. Yep, we'll talk about that as well. Um, we like lanyards. Yes, I have a uh, to Adventures. Actually, I have it on me right now, and I'm actually using it. Shocking, shocking, I know. So pick up your. This, this is the old school version. They have newer ones now, uh, but they have Sikita Adventures uh, lanyard which I use for my keys uh, for my car. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. And this one, there are different styles, but this one has a clip on it, so you can easily take your card off and uh, give it to somebody, and then you can step right back on. But yeah, those are pretty cool. Uh, if you don't want Secret Adventures lanyards, there's, you can get lanyards on the Carnival ship as well. And um, I think I'll put that on me. <laughs> um, and then, um, or you can buy them online too, or you can get one. Um, well, you can get a hole punched at the casino for your card. And then uh, sometimes they have lanyards there at the casino too. But uh, uh, your best bet is to bring your own uh, or buy one from Carnival. You like the Carnival ones. So, uh, so it makes, says 21. I like that better. Yeah, I know, Holly. I know. Got to have the hooks for the hats. Yeah. I might have to have a hook for this hat. Of course, this doesn't usually leave my head very much. Uh, I like them as well. I have to cut them away. Uh, yes, need my visors and tiles if needed. I always pack the pens. I'm sure you do, Danny. I'm sure you do. Leakage problems. Uh, here, the link below is optimal. <laughs> uh, sometimes I am too busy having 
fun with my cheers package. Yes, yes. Uh, I have the cheers package this cruise. So. Uh, we carry a couple of multi-outlet adapters of extra USBs. Yes, uh, we'll talk about that as well, too. That's a good tip. Uh, welcome to Craft Hour of Captain K. No, not Captain Kangaroo. Uh, yeah, I was holding my luggage tag. That light is good. Yep, that's an awesome good tip. I uh, forgot uh, last time, so just kept the TV on. Yeah, that, that works, too. I uh, have plastic holders. That's good, Janice. Uh, Janice is a first-time cruiser, so uh, she's definitely going to look for information. I think she's well-prepared, though. She's done her research. Uh, I think she's going to be good for this cruise. Uh, Billy always packs caps to protect his... Yes. Which which head are we talking about, Danny? Which head? I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, reason until we stub a toe. Yeah, don't stub a toe. Flashlight and alarm clock. Yes, Janice, that's good as well. I like Rainers with the clip. Yeah, clip is definitely a good thing to have. Uh, my keys are also on the SCT Adventures Lanyard. There you go, Meg. Meg, but you don't drive. Well, this would do have a get into your uh, place, of course. House key, I guess. Uh, how many people are here who is Captain Kangaroo is? Probably not many, John. Probably not many. Uh, no clue, John. Uh, what carnival the cards come with holes? Oh, okay, good. Because they did not. They didn't before. I've had to have to go, like, back when I first cruised in 2018, I had to have the casino clip a hole for me. So, um, yeah, they, they didn't always come with a hole on them. Uh, I know Captain King Grease, a marker board. Yeah, marker board for your cabin. Yep, definitely. Uh, I always bring a European adapter, as it's great for older ships. Extra socket. Yep, there you go. That's a good tip. Welcome aboard, Paul. Good to have you here. Here will be on the World Wrestling Vlog later tonight with me. Uh, pack antibiotic ointment on the Vista. I was stung by a Mexican bee and didn't have any. Spent like ten dollars in the gift shop buying some. Oh my! Ooh. Yeah, definitely want to bring your medication. So we'll talk about that as well. All right. So that was luggage tags for Carnival. Um, and then let's go ahead and let's talk about checklists, packing checklists. So I'll bring up a couple that I have here. So let me go ahead and do that. Uh, again, if you are coming in, make sure you do hit the thumbs up button. Captain would appreciate that very much. Uh, let's go ahead. And I brought up the ultimate cruise packing list. Now, these are these links are in the email. Um, and um, I have to get the size right here. All right. Hope you guys can see that. Um, I may have to adjust that a little bit. Yeah, we'll go like that. Okay. All right. So this is, uh, again, the links are in the bottom of the description of this uh, live. But here's the first one. I just typed in cruise packing list. This is the ultimate cruise packing list. This is from Smarter Travel. And so we'll just go through some of the things that they have listed. And let's see if there's anything that uh, you think should be on this list and they don't have. So you got your standard underwear, socks, stockings, undershirts, bras, sleepwear, t-shirts, dress shirts, casual shirts, jeans, pants, waterproof day bag, shorts, and dresses uh, for the ladies or for Danny, skirts. Uh, then they have uh, sweaters, sweatshirts, formal wear, swimsuit cover-ups, coats, jackets, rainwear, hats, like the captain's hat, gloves, scarves, saw, Umbrella, poncho, laundry bag, and kit. Now, you can do laundry on some ships, and some ships you can't. Uh, so you may have to do your own laundry if you want. Uh, sunglasses, leisure shoes, hiking athletic shoes, walking shoes, dress shoes, suitable for dancing, uh, sandals, flip-flops, water shoes, uh, belt, a tie, jewelry. Uh, leave your valuables at home, people. Bring your costume jewelry, your fake stuff. Bring the Bring the fake stuff. Uh, purse, uh, collapsible tote, beach bag, underclothing, document holders. And then we'll go on to toiletries. Uh, so we have your toothbrush, toothpaste, settle floss, soap, deodorant, shampoo, conditioner, brush, comb, hair styling tools, face cleaner, styling gel, hair products, which I, the captain does not need at all, um, sunscreen, aloe vera, moisturizer, contact lenses, solutions, if you have problems with seen, but I have 2020 vision. Uh, shaving supplies, makeup makeup remover, uh, that's for Danny. Uh, clothes spins, towel clips, feminine hygiene products, that's for Greg. 
uh, birth control, or as I call it, party favorites, uh, nail file clippers, tweezers, hand sanitizer, sea sickness remedy for if you get motion sickness, definitely want to have that. Travel first aid kits, that's where uh, Amy was talking about the um, stuff for her bee sting, so definitely want to bring that. There's insect repellent, keep those bees away. Uh, medications, vitamins, pain relievers, hanging toilet too bad. Cell phone, laptop, tablet, snorkel gear, plug adapter for pre and post cruise day, binoculars, microfiber towel, waterproof phone case, small flashlight batteries, copies of passport, credit card, etc. cetera. Uh, books or ebooks, or tracks, chargers, earbuds, headphones, suitcase locks, travel pillow and blanket if you're like flying, uh, earplugs, eye mask if your partner is snoring or you don't like the lights if you're a vampire. Tissues, lip balm, got to keep those lips nice and moisturized. Uh, change of clothes if you're changing uh, out of a swimsuit or something. Food, snacks, gum, empty water bottle to fill post security for flying. Uh, in flight medications, this is mostly for air, air, airline travel. Important toiletries, camera for memory card, um, passport, visa, ID, paper pen, cash, credit, ATM cards, insurance cards your itinerary and your maps directions, list of medications, guidebooks, list of emergency contacts, and house car keys. So that is the ultimate cruise packing list. Let's take a look at the chat and see what you guys think of that cruise packing list. And I might have to go jump up here a little bit. Um, let me see where we were at. Um, uh, Janet said, you're right. Carvel says 22 days. Shipmate says 21 days. Yeah, I was off by a day or two. Hey, sweetie, Paul Vines. Oh, you're talking to Meg. I missed that part. Okay. Uh, Rose wants uh, my honey to take me on a cruise, but he said no. I'm sorry, Rose. Maybe next time. Uh, can he can he cross off underwear? Yeah, he probably could. Uh, water shoes are helpful. Yes, they are helpful, Holly. Definitely, especially if some beaches have rock rocks and stuff, and uh, uh, if you Talk to people that have been to different uh, ports and stuff. You can ask if you would need water shoes or not. And But I, I always bring a pair of water shoes with me. Z Show Cruise Fund. So you're welcome aboard Z Show Cruise Fund. Check them out. They're a newer subscriber to me, and I checked out some of their videos. So if I check them out over there. Uh, Kenny has a purse, so don't forget that one, Kenny. Yes. Uh, I thought, well, Danny, go command or live in swim trucks. Yeah, you could do that. So make sure you got your suspenders on. Uh, Meg, does Meg have a YouTube channel? Well, she does say she's a supporter, but yes, she does have a YouTube channel. Meg's Fun Time. Feel free to drop that in the chat if you haven't yet, Meg, or any of the other moderators, if she doesn't want to. Uh, what? Birth control? Yes. Jeez, Billy, what? All right. Uh, can you ever hit anyone with that previous be out for at least two days? Yeah, probably, definitely. There's Blaine dropped in Meg's channel. There's Meg's Fun Time channel. Check out Meg's Fun Time. Uh, isn't that what your cap is for, Captain? Yeah, well, yes. This, this is the multi-use cap. Oh, I do bring books. And we'll talk about that, too, because there's one place that said you should not bring books. And we'll talk about that. Uh, wow, is that like three carry-on bags? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, and all I've heard is earplugs and birth control. Okay. <laughs> Uh, if you're a Catholic, do you, they still need birth control asking for a friend? Uh, what are microfiber towels for? Uh, to dry yourself off with, Danny? Danny's Merce, man purse, there you go. Uh, no birth control. Microfiber towels. Uh, oh, can clean up many accidents. Yes, they can clean up many fluids that you may run across. Uh, wouldn't you want to get pregnant... Uh, wouldn't you want to get pregnant on a crew? Why pack birth control? Oh my, oh my, Janice. She, uh, I don't know if she wants to get pregnant or not. I don't know. Anyways, leave that alone. Uh, everyone's saying, hold the Z show. Uh, just book it yourself. Surprise him, that would make his day. Uh, some of us are too old to get pregnant, says Holly. Holly, aren't you 21? Birth control is a must. Uh, so put the birth control earplugs and microphone towels in the same bag. 
Well, you could do that, yes. Uh, just sound, uh, it's really great to have because one may be okay. Oh, that's good. Good that you just sub to them. You can always unsub too. Uh, you are welcome. Very distance in here. Welcome aboard, Brene. Good to have you here. As we're talking about tonight. All right. Uh, Amy says, well, the earplugs, so you can't hear the people using birth control. That's true, Amy. That does work that way. Don't bring towels, just wasted space. Yep, uh, the cruise line has their own towels, of course. Again, this is not my packing list. This is what I got off of Smarter Travel. Now, what I would do is I would take this list and I would modify it to what I need. I may add a couple things as well, too. Uh, yeah, those walls are thin on a cruise. That is true. Uh, the men on the horizon should watch out. Yes, got to watch out for uh, Janice there. Definitely. <laughs> She's on the prowl. Uh, uh, she, uh, Paul is not one of, we'd hate to get pregnant on a cruise or anywhere else, but if I do, all my friends are getting taco and pasta trucks in their driveways. Okay. Uh, I'm too old to get pregnant, Meg. Oh, you're Janice. You're not that old. I've, I've known older women that have gotten pregnant. Uh, don't forget the USB port charger for your phone, tablets, and cameras. Yes, that's a good idea, Z Show. Uh... Rochelle says, is uh, Wi-Fi available on cruises? Do you have to pay extra for it? Yes, Wi-Fi is available on cruises. Now, it does vary between cruise lines. Carnival, which we're talking about mostly tonight, they do have three different packages. They have your basic Wi-Fi package that you can get onto, like Facebook and Twitter. You can post pictures and stuff like that. Then they have a medium package, uh, which with that, you can check emails and uh, most websites and stuff like that. Then they have the higher end package for streaming, not for Netflix or anything like that, but video streaming so you can make video calls. Or you can stream uh, a live show like this uh, on, on a cruise ship. Now, the Wi-Fi works better on some ships than it does on other ships. So uh, just depends. Uh, if you're having issues with the Wi-Fi, feel free to reach out to guest services and they can maybe we flood you some money and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, Wi-Fi is available. Now, unlike on Norwegian, I was checking out Norwegian recently, uh, th their Wi-Fi is included with their package, uh, the free offers. Uh, so some cruise lines, the Wi-Fi is included with the cruise fare. Some you have to pay extra for. So that is Wi-Fi. Uh, don't forget suntan lotion. I don't need it. Yeah, and I... I try to stay out of the sun because I burn pretty fast. Uh, but I do bring suntan lotion if I plan on being out in the sun too long. Pregnant? What kind of cruise ship is this? Virgin? Definitely not virgin uh, if it's that's going on. Um, yeah, even though premium Wi-Fi can be spotty. That is true. Definitely. Leonard Family Funds here. Tanisha, welcome aboard. Good to have you here. Uh, it's cold as you leave a child cruise for us. Keep your ventures on the hunt. She's on the hunt. Uh, fans gone wild cruise. Yeah, pretty much. Um, uh, oh, I'm on the wrong cruise. to Get me off the ship. <laughs> is Billy going to wear a tux? Billy is not going to wear a tux. Now, when I first cruised, I dressed like a, a dress shirt, a tie, dress pants, dress shoes. I even had a jacket. I brought a suit jacket with me. Uh, that was the first uh, cruise. After that, I, each cruise are becoming more and more casual. Uh, so now the captain wears a polo shirt, dress pants, and maybe dress shoes. But sometimes I'll sneak by with sneakers that look like dress shoes. Uh, so I keep it pretty casual when I go uh, like formal dinners and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, so I don't dress up like I used to. And I don't have a tux that fits me anyway. So can't get married to you, Janice. Um, let's see. Oh, nautical nurse Nancy's in here. Welcome aboard, nautical nurse Nancy. Good to have you here. Oh, I can take off this uh, cruise packing list. You've seen that long enough. Um, so Lisa said, I had to have Wi-Fi and cruise in October 2021 and February for Royal for school. And they work good. Oh, that's good. Next cruise, I won't have school, so woohoo! Yes, no school, yay! Um, yeah, some people work on cruises, and so they have to have Wi Fi, but again, 
that Wi-Fi is spotty and it, it doesn't work all the time. Uh, Billy is the captain of the ship, but only wears a speedo and his captain set. Yeah, that, I do that. Yeah, on my uh, time off, uh, I do that definitely. Uh, <laughs> oh, and, and she's very naughty. Nancy is very naughty. Just to mind all of you that. Um, or Nurse Nas Nasty, according to Z's show. Uh, where's his shot glass is what he's asking for. Uh, Ryan Donahue is in here. Welcome aboard, Ryan. Ryan, uh, looks like an interesting night in the chat. Yes, it is. We're talking about packing for a cruise. And Ryan, you still need to message me. I need your mailing address. I have to send you a prize. I already sent uh, the gift card. Um, or who did I send the gift card to? Oh, to Kelly and Tammy. Kelly and Tammy Zerny, they want a gift card on my last giveaway. And I also sent uh, Miss Holly Ayers. She received her bag, uh, my Captain Barry J Travels bag, drawstring bag. She received that. She sent me a picture of that. So, Ryan, I need your address. Send it to me so I can send you your uh, coffee mug. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, what check glass? Did, did you need a check glass? Um, okay, excellent. All right, the bottom chat. All right, so that was one packing list. Let's pull up another packing list uh, that I have. We're, uh, well, we got, what, 22 minutes left before the Traveling Gilbert's live. Again, hit the thumbs up if you haven't yet. We'd appreciate it very much. Let's go ahead and pull up uh, this other one real quick. Uh, oh, I'm going to stop that screen. i got to share. And we're sharing. And we're going to uh, this one. So this one is more, this is not really a cruise uh, packing list, but this is like tips and hacks. So this is from Cruise Mummy, uh, 40 best cruise packing tips and hacks. Um, uh, first one is check your luggage allowance. Uh, that's basically if you're like flying and stuff like that. Also, some cruise lines will restrict your luggage too. Uh, Carnival is unlimited. Um, and I believe Royal is as well, but there are some like smaller cruise lines, but they do limit your luggage. So take a look at the uh, rules and regulations for your cruise line and see if your, uh, what the luggage uh, allowance is. Uh, invest in packing cubes. So yes, uh, packing cubes. Uh, and I use a packing cube. And I have one right here that I will show you. So this is a packing cube I have. Now, this is my University of Northern Iowa. Go Panthers. Uh, but you, this is my custom bag. So this is one of three bags I have. I, I use these now. I, I don't use them for cruising. But I do use them when I'm flying sometimes. If I'm just right down to your carry-on. Uh, then I will use packing bags. And that like gets your clothes in tighter so you have more room in your suitcase. But these are pretty awesome. You can buy them in different different colors and varieties and with different logos on them. But they just like zip up and then you can just uh, pack your clothes in there and then zip them closed. Then it keeps your clothes nice and tidy as well too. So packing bags. I'm a fan of them. Uh, you can also get vacuum bags too, which I've never used vacuum bags before, but that's the thing, I guess, as well, too. Um, so let's go ahead and go back to my screen. All right, so that was invest in packing cubes. And that's what those are just so, some other pictures there of different ones that they have. They're the different sizes as well, too. You can get those on like Amazon and stuff like that. Uh, pack magnetic hooks. So I believe Blaine was talking about magnetic hooks. Uh, uh, or someone was talking about for hats. Uh, but yeah, so those are your magnetic hooks you can use. Um, check what laundry facilities on the ship. So yeah, uh, some ships have laundry facilities and some do not. Uh, if you don't have a laundry facility, you can do your own laundry. You can bring your own like detergent soap, and you can wash your laundry in the sink of your cabin. Uh, and they have like other products out there as well, too. It's a scrubber that you can use to wash... Um, it's a, it's a wash bag that you can wash your clothes in under five minutes. So in case you don't have laundry on your ship. Now, you do have to pay for laundry. Unless you're like a Platinum Diamond member, uh, you can get a free uh, bag of laundry done. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's an option out there. Uh, load the cruise, cruise Line app onto your phone. That's not really a packing thing, but you would, do want to have your uh, Cruise Line app on your phone ready to go. Uh, pack more than one pair of flip-flops because uh, these flip-flops 
some of them are cheap and they can break. And so you want kind of want to have a backup pair if you wear flip flops. Now I don't wear flip flops. I wear sandals um, for me. Well, those are flip flops. Uh, pack closed toe shoes, socks, and long pants. Now that is for different activities that are on the ship. Now you may want to go rock climbing, or ice skating, or zip lining, or ropes course, trampolining stuff on your cruise. And you need to have the right attire in order to do those activities. So. Keep in mind to have all that kind of different stuff out there. And then uh, check what you're not allowed to bring. Yes, so there are items you are not allowed to bring. And we'll talk about that um, in a few minutes, uh, what is not allowed to be brought on carnival ships. And pack everything you need for the first day in your carry-on bag. Yeah, so you want to pack a, a carry-on bag because you're not going to get your luggage. Because if you leave your luggage at the porter, you may not see your bag until later that day. So if you need to take some medication, you want to bring that along with a carry-on bag, as well as your um, identification, travel information, you'll need that. If you're taking wine or champagne, you'll want to put that in your carry-on bag. You cannot have it in your check bag. If you're taking a pop or soda on the 12-pack that's allowed, uh, you want to have that with your carry-on. Stuff like that. And also like sunscreen, sunglasses, swimsuit, if you want to change into your swimsuit, uh, stuff like that. Change the clothes, maybe your uh, clothes for dinner in case your bag doesn't show up before dinner uh, or supper. So, yeah. And then make your luggage stand out because a lot of people have the same luggage. They have the same black luggage. Now, this is mostly for airports. But you can get like the little cover-ups that go over your suitcase you can also tie on little colored ribbons and stuff to your handles so you know uh, what your bag is. Also, you can put other luggage tags besides the carnival ones. You can you can have your own custom luggage tags, or you can um, all, buy all kinds of different luggage tags out there. All right. Uh, let me stop there, and then uh, let's take a look at the chat um, before I get too far. Uh, where am I at in the chat? You guys are talking tonight. Thank you guys for talking. Uh, guys are talking. To, we're talking about speedos. <laughs> okay, we're talking about speedos. Um, Meg might be in the wrong chat. Meg, you're not in the right chat. You're in the right spot. No speedos, according to Amy. Uh. Do, 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 do. Uh, Holly says we always take a legged scale when we fly. Yep, legged scale is good, especially when flying, because you have to keep under that uh, weight limit for luggage. Uh, no, nah, I don't want to shame people, uh, shame the captain in laughter. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, this reminds me of an episode of Cruise Tips TV. Sherry may sue. Yeah, she might. She might. But uh, uh, I, I'm a fan of Cruise Tips TV as well. Uh, I love my packing cubes, Amy says. Awesome. Uh what shot glass? Nancy has no idea on the shot glass. Uh, I don't know if I trust Mummy's advice. They might be outdated. They've been away for a while. Well, this is April of 2022, so it's not that outdated. Uh, but it is from the UK. So uh, my luggage gets heavy. Uh, my nephew graduated from that school. University of Northern Iowa, Co Panthers. Oh, Lord, you and I. <laughs> uh... Carrie and Tammy here, welcome aboard. They were my gift card winners, Amazon e gift card winners last time. So awesome. Good to have you here. I don't do shots, they are just a tease. Go Panthers. Thank you, Brene. Uh, everyone's saying hello to each other. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Shipmate has a packing list also. Yes. So uh, uh, talking about Shipmate app, I talked about that on a previous live show. So if you missed that, check out my live show on the Shipmate app. And yeah, there is a packing list out there as well, too. Definitely check that out. Nancy says, packing cubes help with organization, easy to pack on the cruise. Yes, definitely. Uh, magnetic hooks are good. Yes, they are. Um, I'm going to hug that wife of yours uh, for a while, Shauna. Uh, I need a scrubber. Yes, you need a scrubber. Uh, and make sure, yeah, don't drop your phone in the ocean like Amy does. If you want to drop your phone in the ocean, I'm sure Amy can give you some tips on that because she's a pro at that. 
uh, LD channel. Oh, did I miss LD channel? Oh, LD channel's in here. Welcome aboard LD channel. Good to have you here. We're talking about packing, ready to pack for a cruise. Uh, be careful if you go ice skating, according to Nancy. Yes, Nancy is the pro at getting into an accident while ice skating. That Nancy and also uh, Nancy from Jane and Travels is also a pro at ice skating. So if you want to learn how to uh, have an accident while ice skating, talk to those two ladies. Talk to the Nancys. They know what to do. Uh, my sunglasses broke on my last cruise. I was glad I had another pair. Yep, definitely. I uh, broke my foot flop, stepped on a pop top. Hmm, that sounds familiar. John says, uh, flying for the first time to Cruiseport, we would have to do major adjustments to your pack. Yes, you will, John, because you have to stay under that weight limit and luggage allowance. That is for sure. I uh, kept my heel, had to cruise on back home. Yeah. Uh, and check your excursions for clothing and shoe requirement. Yes, that is a good tip, Amy. That is a good tip. Uh, I only pack one pair of flip-flops, okay? Uh, good tip, Amy. Yep, that is a good tip. Uh, Holly says, true, one of mine requires water shoes. Yes, definitely for excursion. Uh, does anyone have a SpongeBob luggage? I do not, and I have not seen many. Uh, my suitcase has pineapples. I'm sure it does, Danny. I'm sure it does. Uh, I will send Meg on the cruise to keep Billy from leaving the cabin in a Speedo. Yeah, and Meg is not going with on this cruise, um, but uh, that, that wouldn't stop the captain anyways. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. Uh, rigged, according to Danny. Uh, fly Southwest, I could check uh, two bags for free. Under, yeah, Southwest has a good uh, baggage allowance. Uh, both a taillight uh, for my truck with it. Awesome. That's good. So, Kelly used the Amazon e gift card. Awesome. Captain Shipmate Live. Well, thank you, uh, Blaine. Dropping the link to that live show on the Shipmate app. Blame Gravity. <laughs> For the ice skating. Got to run. See you later. Goodbye, Charming Gilberts. They're going live in 11 minutes. Check them out. All right. We need to get through this list because we got to finish this list. But we're going to go through this real quick. So bring cash for tips. So you want to tip people, porters, taxi drivers, uh, your servers, and the, and the crews, stuff like that. So bring cash. Uh, if you don't have the same surname as your kids, bring their birth certificates. So that's a good idea. Bring a battery-powered tea right or bathroom. Or you can bring in... Um, a night light, as uh, someone mentioned before. I bring a night light uh, for the bathroom. I have an interior room on this next cruise, so yeah, I definitely bring a night light uh, for the bathroom or for the cabin itself. Uh, Lever beach towels at home. Yes, the cruise ship does provide beach towels. So you don't have to bring a microfiber towel if you don't want to. Or you can bring a beach sheet. They have those as well, too. Uh, towel clips. Yes, you want towel clips. So if you're going to go uh, lay out on a, one of the chairs on the cruise, it gets windy. So you want to have towel clips that you can put to keep your towel from moving away. Or if you're on the beach as well, too. So towel clips are in handy. You can buy those on Amazon as well, too. I'm not sponsored by Amazon, but you can get a lot of stuff there. Uh, here's those vacuum sealed bags out there. Oops, so let me hide that comment. I'm sorry, that might be blocking people. Uh, so vacuum sealed bags. Again, um, I don't use them, but there's vacuum storage bags. I don't know of anybody that uses them. But uh, check if you can bring your own booze, and we'll check it. We'll check that with Carnival. Uh, but you can bring some on Carnival. Uh, door decorations. So definitely bring your door decorations along with uh, highlighter pens. Uh, if you get the paper version of the uh, itinerary or activities, you can highlight stuff. Uh, most people use the app now, but also good for kids as well, too. They can use them. Those are highlighter pens. Uh, don't rely on toiletries that are provided. Yeah, so the cruise ships do provide, like, shampoo, but they don't have conditioner. So they have shampoo, but not conditioner, and they have body wash. But you may not like that stuff, so bring your own toiletries. Uh, Over-the-door organizer keeps you organized. You can put shoes in there. You can also put... Uh, there are toiletry items in there as well, and other miscellaneous items as well. Not just shoes. Uh, what's plug sockets are on your ships? So someone mentioned about European sockets. So some of the ships have European sockets, but some of the uh, newer ships and some of the ones that have been remodeled, they have more. Uh, they have like USB plugins and stuff like that. Uh, but 
you always want to bring like a surge protector, or a, not a surge protector. You can't bring a surge protector on the ship. You can bring extra outlets like this, but they have to be no surge protection. So no surge. So, um, but as long as they're non-surge or no surge, you can bring those on to provide you more outlets. And I bring one along with on my cruises. Uh, wrinkle release spray uh, helps out because you can't usually have access to an iron. So wrinkle release uh, is good. Uh, reusable straws. Now uh, cruise lines have switched to paper straws and sugar straws. And if you don't like the paper straws or sugar straws, then you want to bring your own straws. And try not to bring plastic straws. That is an option you can do too. But we're trying to help the environment. So reusable straws are a good uh, method. Now, you do have to clean them. That's the downsides to them. But there are your straws and your straws to keep. Uh, size of your clothes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you may your snow your clothes may fit a little snugger after eating all that cruise food. So that's out there. Uh, Consider the lanyard. We talked about lanyards earlier, so there's different lanyards out there. Uh, that's if you're flying, John, uh, John and Nancy, split your clothes between your cases because uh, you may lose a suitcase. The airline may lose a suitcase. The cruise ship may lose your suitcase, and if you have some of your clothes at least in another suitcase, then you we'll have some clothes and not have to buy any. Uh, theme nights on cruises. So some cruises have theme nights, like the Carnival has 80s rock and roll party and stuff like that. So those are out there as well. So you want to dress accordingly to those themes. Pack twice as much underwear as you usually wear. Yeah, because you, if you're in a Caribbean, you're going to be sweaty and stuff like that. Or if you're like Kenny, don't wear underwear at all. So. Uh, leave some space in your suitcase, yeah, for souvenirs and stuff like that. That's an awesome little thing. Pack sticky notes that you can put on your cabin, on your door, let people know where you're at. Is an idea. So sticky notes, or the uh, marker board that uh, Janice had mentioned too. Dry erase board that works as well. Uh, pack some warmer clothes if you're going to colder climates like Alaska and stuff like that. Check the dress code. Yeah, uh, if you're going like formal nights and stuff, they do have a dress code um, or other places there may be a dress code. So check that out. Pack, mix, and match outfits. So yeah, different pattern clothes and stuff like that. That's a thing. Beware of pineapples. Yeah, especially upside down pineapples. So uh, yeah, if you're not into that lifestyle, don't wear upside down pineapples. Uh, next is, um, oops. Oh, and there's a picture of a pineapple on a pair of shorts. That must be Danny's shorts, I think. Uh, don't overpack. Yeah, don't overpack. Uh, don't bring as many clothes as you think you're going to need because you will, will not use them. First time I packed, I packed way too many clothes. So now I know what to pack and I don't pack as many. Uh, collapsible clothes rail. Now, I've never heard of this, but you can pack a collapsible clothes rail. That's not necessary. But there are hangers and, and closets uh, on carnival ships, at least, and, and royal ships as well. So, yeah, you definitely don't need to bring that. Uh, don't pack books and magazines. So Meg says she brings books, but this people say don't bring books because there's a library on the ship, usually, and they have books that you can check out. You can also bring a Kindle, a Kindle Fire, and then you can read books on there, too, Let's say we're flying because that's an extra weight there with books. But uh, yeah, so that's what, what's out there. But uh, you do you. You do you, boo. Bring your books if you want. Uh, use a pill organizer for jewelry. So you can use a, like a pill organizer like this for jewelry. Uh, stuff your sun hat with clothes if you're bringing a sun hat. And then uh, 40, I don't care about. But anyways, that is uh, that. Um, yeah, so uh, we're going to run out of time, and I'm not even going to get to my last part, which is what not to bring on Carnival. I'll just go through that real quick. So if you go out to the Carnival site, the link is at the description of the video. It talks about the prohibited items, like basically your normal stuff, can bring narcotics, drugs, explosives, ammunition, fireworks, flammable substances, alcohol, hard liquor. You cannot bring that. You can't bring beer. Now, you are allowed to bring a wine or champagne but it has to be a limit of one 750 milliliter bottle per adult. 
21 years of age or older. So you can't bring that. Uh, Non-alcoholic beverages in containers other than a can or carton. You can't bring that. But you can't bring a 12-pack of soda uh, or something in a can. Uh, you can't bring that, one per person. And you can't bring electrical household items like an irons, clothes steamer, stuff like that. Uh, you can't bring handcuffs for you upside-down pineapple people. Um, boom boxes, large radios, candles, incense, hearing fear balloons, inflatable kiddie pool, hookahs, uh, any footwear of wheels, uh, surfboards, boats, any kinds. Um, anyways, there's a whole list out here of different things you're not allowed to bring. Now, you can bring a, a drone allowed, but you have to have it checked in with the security, and then you have to check it in and out for port use only. Uh, there's some other items that you can use uh, for port only, but not on the ship. So, anyways, uh, Carmel has that list. The link is in the description of the uh, thing. Anyway, so that is that. Let's run through comments real quick, and then we're going to end this cruise because we're going to go over to the Talvin Gilberts and check them out. Um, let me see where we're at. Here's my spot. And where are we at? Uh Gravity does work differently for some of us. Uh, about a rising sun clock to grab you wake me up in the inside cabin. There you go. That works, too. Uh, like packing cubes and small items, you can use freezer bags like you could with vacuum seal. Yep, press off the air out and flat the bag and the contents go. That's awesome. That's good. Press and seal. Yep. Uh, Billy, is hair conditioner really an issue for you? No, it's not, Paul. It is not. Vacuum bags are great for Alaska. NCL provides conditioner in their showers. Oh, that's good to know. That's good. Carnival does not. Uh, the sugar straws are nasty depending on what drink you use them in. Yeah, they are. Um, I don't like the sugar straws. I detest the sugar straws. Uh, sugar straws go limp. Yes, yeah, so Nancy's uh, things go limp around Nancy. Uh, nothing limp is good. Uh, I agree. Bring extra undies. Okay, now I'm in the wrong chat for sure. Uh, pineapple sticker for Billy's door. No, Janice, that's for your door. Uh, in fact, way too much for Alaska. Uh, I will pack on every cruise. I bring puzzle books. That puzzle books is good. Wait, I've never heard of bringing a collapsible closer. Me either, Nancy. That's a new one for me. Uh, I bring ebooks. That's good, Janice. Uh, like and subscribe to all. Awesome. Uh, better to pack some, yeah, not need something than to underpack and need something. That's my philosophy. There you go. That's a good philosophy, Blaine. Uh, well, I'll bring my Kindle and a crossword puzzle. Oh, I thought you brought uh, books, books, actual books, Meg. But yeah, that, why don't you bring a Kindle? That's good. Uh, I always bring a paperback a book on a cruise. That's good. Yeah, paperback doesn't take up as, as much weight as a hardcover. Thank you, Blaine, dropping in the link to the Talvin Gilbert's Live. We'll go there in a second. Can't bring CBD of any kind. Yep. Thank you, Captain. Stay on board. Everyone be as well. Uh, why do the ships smell of pot then? Well, they sneak it on. They sneak it on. Uh, have a great night, everyone. Thank you, Jonathan. And uh, just the sugar straws. Oh, just the sugar straws. Naughty, Nancy. Sure. Anyways. Well, thank you guys for showing up. It is 7 o'clock. It is time to go over to Traveling Gilberts. I want to talk. Um, well, I was going to talk about the Raid Parade. I want to talk about that. You guys know about the Raid Parade. Friday afternoons. Check out my videos. I should have a video out for that Friday coming up. Not sure what it's going to be about yet. Could be the airport. Could be planes flying. It could be um, over in Alabama somewhere. I don't know. I'm still working on it. But thank you guys for showing up tonight. Again, Calvin Gilbert's live tonight. Check out Adventures Ahead. Check out Grits Hall Family Vacay. And check out the World Wrestling Vlog with moi himself talking about pro wrestling factions. Thank you guys for showing up. And let's head over to the Calvin Gilbert's and check them out tonight. So thank you guys for showing up tonight. And we'll see you next Saturday. Captain Billy J out.